It is 10 o'clock at night, my time. It is midnight, your time. My day started with a pastoral call at 6 o'clock this morning, and I and our deputation have been on the go ever since. Like yesterday, it's been a day full of contrasts. Um, there's a lot of controversy that is being stirred up over structure. Uh, what is being proposed at one level really feels like a redefinition of ecclesiology for the Episcopal Church. And so there's a lot of controversy about that, both for and against. There's also some wonderful stuff that's come out of evangelism in terms of new initiatives and mission and internet evangelism that I'm personally really, really excited about. The worship that we had this morning from the Book of Common Prayer right to confession, absolution, everything was a sheer joy to be a part of. As one of our deputations said, it is so powerful to be in a room with that many people and hear us all say together the creed, we believe. And it certainly was a grounding and wondrous moment. In the midst of all of that, we're still continuing to hear, have hearings around the questions of marriage and marriage canon changes proposed and changes in the prayer book. At this point, they're just hearings. No proposals have reached us. So we are very much a work in progress, but then to end the day, Acts 8, which is a prim movement here, had a gathering of about 40 of us that met in a small room at the Hilton. And I was easily the oldest guy in the room, and most of the people there were under the age of 35. Uh, enthusiastic in their prayers and in their personal sharing, it was like a little drop of cool water in the midst of the heat of today. So we're on our way. I feel in some ways profoundly encouraged. I think the future is in fact uncertain, but I think we can trust the fact that we, in our efforts to be obedient to God, will be a part of the future that God intends for us, and I have to be content to be okay with that, as it were and to know that I'm trusting God. I hope you will join me in that trust and continue to keep all of us in your prayers. Thank you.